Right, so what's going on guys? How is everybody doing today? Welcome to another tech review with Liam, of course. Now, now we're going to go on a really good product that I suggest everybody should get when they have a PS4. Although it's very pricey, I suggest one of you guys get the PS4 VR, alright? I might show you it now, but I've got B-roll shots anyway, but this is what it looks like. Now, let's do this. Alright, so now that you guys have seen the B-roll, you guys should maybe get an idea now of how what the whole thing looks like. But we're going to focus on talking about how accurate it is, with the accessories, price, and of course the build quality and the design of these things, alright? So now we're going to start off first with the build quality. Now the build quality of this VR headset is absolutely phenomenal. This is a really, really nice, comfortable thing to wear on your head when you are playing games or anything like that. But it can sometimes hurt if... Maybe your head's not used to that kind of stuff because it can be quite heavy on your head sometimes, which is one of the problems about this VR headset. But it is also very important, or in other words, sorry, very <coughs> easy to set up. So there's no worrying too much about things and all that. Just plug it into the processor that comes that comes with this, and then you're all set. But the thing about the processor, right, guys? Just keep this in mind, please. That thing required the processor. It's a little thing that you plug this VR headset into to get it to work, right? This thing, woo, that thing has got a lot of cables to plug in, it takes a very long time. We had, we had, we have very little cables now or plugs available in the back of our TV where we play these games, right? Now you get some games that do this, they're quite expensive, you can use it available with the VR. But now also, Sony's also re released a few um, accessories, right? Now we're going to move to the accessories. One of the things, the only accessory we have are these sticks called PlayStation Moves, right? So what you do, you stick these little sticks, these little string lanyards on, and then what you do, you basically use it as hands, for example. So it's the, like the HC Vive, where you like, for example, use his hand. You can like, for example, punch stuff with it if you hold it, and you can like do all sorts of things with these sticks, which are really nice. This isn't that bad in terms of price. This is 1,300. These sticks in one box, they are not separate. They come in one box, and the box is 1,300. This headset costs more than what the PS4 fit itself does. This is about seven and a half thousand rand, right? And we still use them constantly. We play games on it, and you can get you can get really cool games even like sorry about not adding all the categories guys um I just thought of some now but so you can get some really nice games when, um, for the VR you can get like really really cool stuff for example Fruit Ninja where you use these sticks to for example like cut stuff and you use all the fruit and all that it's really fun and everything you can use it to as your hands for example which is mostly the point of it even Job Simulator you can use your hands and mess around I'm sure you guys should all know what Job Simulator is by now. And you can use the controller also. Now, the, the Sony's also released um, another accessory, which is the gun version of these sticks, which these are um, basically the gun version of this. Now, that is called the PlayStation Aim, right? So you basically use that to like shoot people like in the game, of course, instead of having to use a controller. Like you can hold it and you do it. And it's really got a left analog stick, which has got you covered when you move around, and you can still like shoot and all that by pushing the trigger on that gun, which is a really nice feature. You've only got it's only two accessories that they have available, right? But these, this head is honestly nice. You can get really, really nice games, for example, like horror games like Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which is absolutely nice and everything. And this is honest, and what's nice is these little things here, right? These little lights here on my fingers, these things light up in blue to match the color of your PS4. Because of course, the theme color of PS4 is blue. Now this is honestly my, the best headset I've ever worn in my life, right? I honestly did anyone buy this, right? Now we've got the price covered and everything. Now we're now going to talk about, um, what should we talk about now? Uh, you know what, um, this, the design is really nice on this, I'm not sure if I bought it up already. Yeah, I didn't. The design is really, really nice, PSO has done a really good job. Now they've added this, um, this little thing here, this is, um, I don't know, rubber or something? Mesh, I think. This is, um, really good to keep your head nice and, um, um, doesn't, like, hurt, it keeps it all, um, not so sore and everything, I don't know what the word is called. It keeps it comfortable and everything when you're playing. And you get these little things up your nose. And what actually, we found out yesterday, actually, the, the, what actually makes the PS4 know that you are um, playing, having the VR on your headset is a little hot circle here. You won't see it really. Or oh, this thing here. My finger is. This little thing here. That thing knows, okay, see, so even if you put your finger there or it's on your nose here, then it's gonna, okay, someone's wearing the headset. Let's get the um, in the game. Now you can also of course plug in headphones into this little headphone jack you guys can't see. Now 
we can all almost might tell you how to set up this thing. It's pretty simple, I guess. All you do is just put in the post and everything, plug these two in. See, it's got um, my not see, but on these things, right? They've got a triangle, circle, and an X and a square on each of these little cables here. Now, what? Now, I was going to show you in the post, I think we plug these things into. For example, if it says triangle, circle on the one bit, you plug um, the triangle, circle one into that specific one, and the other one with the X and zero, X and square. You plug it into there. Which is nice and easy to set up and everything. I never knew it was going to be this good or this easy to set up. Now you can use this stick for all sorts of things, of course. Now we're going to move on to this, all right? So now this is not cheap, guys. I, I don't suggest going in and just buying this, all right? Because this thing costs, these things cost a lot of money. This thing was 1,300. Not a bad price for these sticks. But of course, these like these little things here, they um, change different colors. They just change colors to make it look nicer and everything. It's like a Nintendo Wii, basically, this thing here. And now thing about the PS4 VR is that it's not far off design-wise from other VR headsets, such as the Samsung Galaxy VR headset that you put your Samsung phone in, all that. Or even the HC Vive, which just has like little holes in it. This one's got, obviously got to look a little bit different, where it has these lights to actually replace the little holes that are on the HC Vive. One who I know about the Vive, I personally tried it at a place one time. It was really nice also. And also the Vive is also probably going to be much better than the VR because Vive is, or that's been around much longer than what the PS4 VR does. So they've got more experience with what they're doing and all that. PS4 is still kind of new to the whole VR thing. They're still getting better at it. Now, games are quite extensive from 200 to 300. Right? You can get super cool games like Super Hot and Foot Ninja Surgeon Simulator. I don't, I'm sure you guys all know what that is. You use sticks and fun is everything and it's nice to use. And the other problem is you got to charge these things. They can't, and you can't just, for example, use... Uh, I'm going to say now it's only for the PS4 people that play PS4 will know, understand. You the, you guys should all know about the charges, um, the PS4 uh, controller charger where you play, like, for example, games with the controller and everything. You just can't use, you can't use those, stick, those kind of things, even though they're exactly the same as ones. You need a dedicated charger to charge these things. If you try and put the PS4 controller on, it won't fit into these things. You have to use the two that come exactly specifically with those, um, with this. So what I'm gonna have to do soon is label the ones that use to charge this, so I don't get mixed up, because I can get mixed up and like, kind of check like, okay, this one fitting, no, this one fitting, yeah, 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 and then you good, it's a waste of good, but a waste of time. These are portable, I don't suggest, I, I was just looking up things really well. These are 1,300 Rand. So like, put in a little case or something like that, everything. Well, good to go. Um, I'm gonna please put on the headset. Um, let's see my hair. Oh, my hair, guys. Um, there you go. I'm gonna please put on my um, this headset so I can show you guys what it looks like. Um, you do this, you do this. There you go, guys. Now you guys should now easily see what the PS4 VR headset looks like, which is nice. Now you got a little button here, you won't see it, but there's a power on top here. This is what you just turn on the VR once it's connected into the little thing that comes with it, which is nice and easy to use. Um, I don't know what else there is really next to talk about, but yeah, I think that's been today's video, guys. A quick one. Sorry if it's not too long or anything. I didn't plan this whole review, but the PS, PS VR thoroughly. I didn't really uh, think too much about it. I just went in just record the video and just thought of what I could remember and everything. So thank you guys for watching this video. I um, hope this will help you guys with your buying choices with the VR headset. This I should be giving you enough information to show that you guys can go and buy this. It's really nice and everything and hope you guys will enjoy the rest of the content you're going to see. If you guys are new, subscribe and like these and then you'll maybe enjoy all the content that's on you. So I have to go edit this now, I have to upload the other ones and record the, upload this and everything. So I want to say goodbye to everyone and say goodbye guys.